guys. The early 356 fitted a 16 inch wheel and it fit a 500 by 16 cross fly tire. The front now, the left now there is the A1 Tourist. Um, it's a pretty good tire, plenty of grip, moves water quite nicely uh, and work, work, will work well on those early cars. Predominantly though, early Porsches, that's radial tyres. Now, this is the Pirelli Cinturato. I think this is the best tyre for a 356, 902, 904, or the early 911s as well, uh, that fit to the 165, 15 tyres. The Cinturato came out in 1952. It changed expectations of what people thought they could get out of a tyre. It's a radial tyre with progressive handling. It's got these nice rounded shoulders. So when you power around the corner, it won't let go violently. It will do it in a progressive manner so you can handle it and control it, which, you know, on a Porsche is a perfect thing. So, so that was 1952, and that carried on. I mean, they carried on making this tyre sort of well into the 80s, really. Um, but I would suggest the other really top-notch tyre for an early for an early car would be the Mitchell XS, which came out in 1965. Now, the XS is a 1965 asymmetric tyre. Um, and this was developed to improve the directional stability of cars. So when you're driving down a dual carriageway or a motorway, the car will tend to go in a straight line fitted with this XS tyre, because it's asymmetric tread pan and carcass. But that's a bit later, but they are brilliant on these early Porsches. Now, what Pro have done is they've really recently manufactured a tyre uh, in conjunction with Porsche. This is the Cinturato CN36. Again, an excellent progressive radial tyre, um, but this is a 1969 tread pan. Um, but it's fantastic. And this tyre, which is its full title, is a Pirelli Cinturato 165 VR CN36 N4. Now, the V speed rating is the highest speed rating any tyres in this size get that I know of. The CN36 is descriptive of that rather sexy tread pan there, which is Fantastic, a very evocative at the end of the 60s and the 70s. It's a brilliant piece of kit, very much associated with Porsche. Um, and the N4 means it's homologated by Porsche as the tyre that they recommend for their cars. So that really is a top notch piece of kit. Um, so I think that's where, you know, they're the tyres for these early, early Porsches. Um, that one's got the highest speed rating, but these two are both excellent. And if it's period correct you want for an early car, you want the Cinturato. Um, anyway, that's the one, the one six five fifteen, and that's that's the three five sixes, um, and your early nine elevens, and your nine one two, and your nine one four. Then, in, towards the end of sixty eight, um, Porsche moved its nine eleven cars onto fitting a one eight five seventy fifteen, and one of the options immediately was the Mitchell X W X, uh, which we've got here. This is a one eight five seventy VR fifteen Mitchell X W X. And then in 69, when the CM36 tread pan came out, um, Porsche offered the Pirelli Cinturato as an option as well. So again, this tyre has got the N4 designation on it, meaning that it's um, homologated by Porsche as their recommended tyre for the size. So on the early 911s, pre-1973, they all fit a 185-70, well, sorry, between 68 and 73, they fit a 185-70-15s front and rear, and both these tyres are fantastic for it, I, you know, I wouldn't encourage you to go anywhere else. Um, you might find out there that there are more modern tyres in the size 185 750, but they don't have the rounded shoulders, but if you can pick up, if you can pick up the shape of those tyres, get quite close up and I want to see the shape of those shoulders, because these early cars need to be progressive, so when you power around the corner and the car rolls, Instead of it climbing up onto the corner of the tyre and rolling over, what it does is it, it, it keeps a reasonable footprint on the road because of the rounded shoulder and it'll drift in a progressive manner. Um, and then in 72, um, what happened was they started putting bigger rims on the back of some of the top notch cars, the top top of the range, the RS cars and the Carreras and things like that. So uh, um, Pirelli also now, with homologation from Porsche, I made a 21560 VR WR15 for the rear of these very powerful cars. So both these tyres are W speed rated as well, uh, which is 170 miles an hour, bless them. Uh, but what's fantastic is we've now actually got a road tyre front and rear setup for um, for the early Porsches, uh, early Porsche 911s. 
and, and to have a road sign size 215 715 something that's not really been around for a long time so we're really pleased to have that well with Pirelli and well with Porsche for homologating and coming out with the good stuff the prices are not ridiculous they're not for nothing but these are specialist tyres so and they've also done recently a German magazine has done a modern tyre test on the tyres available for these Porsches and this CM36 came out incredibly well it's got the results that you'd be very very happy with for a modern car um, and the braking in the wet was superb as well because you know they, they are using modern compounds so we're very pleased with those now if you're going racing um and you're going racing in these islands and you want some crazy wide tires make sure they're making these fantastic tv 15s um which which come in a wide range of sizes uh, this is a rear so whopping big rear you can put these on a 14 inch rim and that's a fully treaded wet tire there tv 15 and then they're also doing TB5F, which is a road legal semi slick. Um, again, these are raced at the road legal, but they are perfect racing tyres. Um, so the TB5 comes in a front compound, which is a bit softer, and then a rear compound, which is a bit harder for the rear of these very powerful cars. Um, and then a new development as well, which is fantastic, is Brilliant have now made some 16 inch. Uh, P7 tyres for some of the 930 cars. Now the P7 is a fantastic tread pattern. Came out in 1975. Uh, groundbreaking piece of kit. The performance of these were exceptional. So we've got a 205 50 15 for the front and a 225 50 15 for the rear. And they're brilliant. They're a new thing. So but I tell you what, I've, I forgot the time, so I'm going to run off and get. Have a little bit of a film of that. We'll be back in two seconds. So, slightly later on, Porsches went on to some 16 inch wheels. Um, and what we've got for these, we've got some Michelin. Now, this is Michelin's attempt, to, among other things, to make a tyre that's got more X's in its name than any other tyre I've come across. Um, so it's the SXMXX3. Pretty impressive, really. Uh, and they're doing a 205 55 16 and a 245 40 16 for the later 911s on 16 inch wheels from, from the 80s. So we've got those now as well. So that should be pretty much most of the information you need to know about classic Porsche tyres. These are all the genuine period tyres. There are cheapo tyres out there and modern tyres that won't handle so well on these cars because they do benefit from having a tyre fitted to them that's appropriate to the carcass, sorry, to the chassis of the car and the period. You know, horses for courses. Modern tyres on modern cars with loads of camera and caster and very fancy modern power steering, fair enough. But for a classic car, you're better off with a, a tyre that's suited to that car. So there we go, classic Porsche tyres. Any more information, our website's there, longstone.com, or our phone number's uh, 01302 7113.